Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. I've got my planner. I've got some gorgeous new tapes from the washi tape shop. Let's plan. Right. So to get started, I have been holding on to this specific washi tape since the washi tape shop sent it to me. It is called A Moment in Time and is actually on this clear, shiny tape. They call it PET tape, P-E-T tape. I don't know what that stands for. I'm sure it stands for something. If you know, let me know what it stands for. But Basically, all of these image, images, they are on one big solid piece of tape. You don't take them off. They're not individual stickers, but you can cut out individual stickers. And I just thought that this array of girls like living their lives, having their best lives were just the cutest. And I've been wanting to use it in a spread and have been just putting it off until this week. And I'm super excited to dive in. So we're going to go for it and just put these huge strips of tape down across the bottom of my page, but don't worry, there's still going to be a way to write down there. And I will show you that as we get towards the end of this process. I have really been enjoying doing planner spreads recently that are much quirkier than I used to do. Meaning I'm liking pulling different stickers from different companies. I'm liking doing shiny stickers. I just really enjoy changing it up. I think it keeps it exciting for me as someone that does decorative planning. I've been doing decorative planning for two and a half years now. I think sometimes you can get into ruts and just get used to using a certain type of sticker. And so changing it up, doing something a little quirkier is super Super fun. Um, every month I end up making these custom spreads for my patrons and I really enjoy that and they have been pushing me creatively to do some really unique spreads and I've loved it and I feel like now I can start to bring that into my own planner as well. The Happy Planner book that I've pulled out is the Gratitude book. It's very soft colors. I figured since these images were so colorful and so powerful, I really didn't need a whole lot of color from the boxes and things like that. So we're going to go a little bit more muted. Otherwise, the washi tape I'm using here at the bottom is actually from Illustrated Faith. I thought the brown was really nice. It's a really pretty brown. And then the, all those plus signs are like a light blush pink, which I think looks really nice as well. So we're just doing that to kind of anchor the bottom of the page. It's kind of where all those um, people are hanging out there on the bottom. I like to always try to give them somewhere to land. Um, I don't follow that rule the whole time though on this particular spread or else it would have ended up being a lot of different washi tape because I use a lot of different people. So I get the washi tape, just trim it off a little bit at the bottom. And you guys, that's a huge decorative impact. I don't need a whole lot more um, decor on this page. I am going to add some, but there's, there's a lot going on on the bottom. And so um, I think that's fun to do every now and then. I know um, a lot of people like to spread the decor out on their page, create clusters, create little scenes. I don't mind anchoring it all at the bottom and then kind of using it sparingly throughout the rest of the page. All right, putting a girl up here. Now I need a sticker to go on the top. For some reason, this says March. And I think I just pulled the wrong page out of a planner when I was trying to piece together this particular planner just because I was doing a Franken planning system. So this says March. That's not going to work. So I definitely had to white it out and um, put a sticker over that, which makes me think that when I get to March, I'm going to have some issues because I'm wondering if I pulled the wrong month. If I did, that's okay. I'll work around it. It's time to add a little bit of function to this spread. So I'm going to do kind of a pattern here with all of these vertical boxes. I am still pulling from the gratitude book and I'm just going to go every other box. We're going to go up and down, make it really predictable. Um, I'm going to vary from my normal formula that I would do for a typical planner spread where I put my schedule all up top. Um, the schedule will most likely go in the boxes. So that will kind of jump around um, on each day. And then the blank boxes will be where I have tasks or to do something like that. Um, so I'll kind of switch it up a little bit this week. Um, I know it still looks like like I took out all that writing space at the bottom, but I promise there is a solution coming. Just hang out for a little while longer. 
Now there were only six of these boxes of the vertical boxes in this gratitude book. And I looked and looked and looked to see if I could find another one. I did find this sticker. It says slow down and enjoy the moment. And this was perfect for this particular Sunday, February 26th is my daughter's birthday. We are surprising my kiddos. My daughter was born on February the 26th. My sons were born. I have twin sons. They were born on February the 28th. We're going to surprise the kids and we're going to take them to Great Wolf Lodge. And I think they're going to be so pumped. So I thought the slow down and enjoy the moment sticker was perfect because we'll be headed there um, on that Sunday. And I think it's going to be it's going to be super fun. They've never been. If you've been to Great Wolf Lodge and you have like tips and tricks, let us know. We've never gone. Um, they've been asking because they've had a lot of friends that have gone. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and it'll be a nice time to get away. We're a super busy family. We have, we have a million activities going on. My daughter actually calls us team do everything because they're all involved in all different kinds of activities that they really enjoy. Um, so it'll be nice to get away as a family and just have that break um, together. You can see that I'm taking the time to trim out a few more of these people. We're just dispersing them throughout. I love the little couple with the um, girl leaning back on him. I think that is adorable. And then we have girls just kind of looking to the side. Again, living their best life. I love the quirkiness of these characters. I like how they're dressed. I like their like facial expression. I just think they are so cute. And this is not something I would have put in my planner um, like a year ago. It would have been a little bit more classic. And I definitely wouldn't have put it up on a plan with me. I used to always think my plan with me's had to look a certain way, had to follow a certain formula. And now that I've been doing this for a while, I think um, it's nice to see something a little bit different every now and then. So I hope you guys enjoy the kind of quirky nature of these characters and how I'm trying to change up my plan with me a little bit um, and do things a little bit different than you might find on other channels. Okay, I found a couple other small stickers as part of that large washi tape and it was a little cleaning bucket, which was perfect. So I put that on a Friday, which is generally when I get things cleaned up. And then like this little set of lotions and kind of something that reminded me of self care. And so I decided to put that on Monday just as a reminder to spend some time in self care throughout the week. All right, once I get those down, that's going to be it for the decorative part. Now let's add some function. At first, I put these bullet points over on top of this girl. That didn't really make sense, so you're going to see that I end up moving those. I'm just going to put a couple of different bulleted lists um, on this page. Again, I can still write in the boxes that are open. Anywhere there's white space, I can definitely write. But a bulleted list on the first half of the week and the second half of the week, I think will be especially helpful. Just keep track of things that need to be done for birthdays and things like that. And then I do want to add a little bit of function at the bottom. Um, the way I'm going to do that, oops, I forgot. Here's a little arch. We're going to add a couple of those. I always think of balance on the page. So if I'm going to add an arch on one side, we're going to add it on the other side. So it says today's intention, which I think is always a good thing to focus on and maybe set intentions at the beginning of the week and see if you can follow through with those throughout the week. On the bottom, I'm going to actually look and grab some more boxes. I kind of go back and forth on what will work here on the bottom. And I think these boxes will be great. I'm using them. They are covering up parts of these stickers, but what it does is give me a place to write. And then it really makes these stickers feel a little more in the background, which I think kind of pulls the whole spread together and brings the planning to the forefront and the decor to the background, which is perfect. And then I'm going to add some a few of the headers. Again, this is the gratitude um, sticker book and they have some great headers. It says small victory, growing this week, letting go this week and winning this week. All things that I want to reflect on throughout the week. That's going to be it for this planning spread. Let me know what you thought of this quirky planning spread. And then let me know in the comments, what is the quirkiest theme you have already have ever done in your planner? I would love to hear in the comments below. I will link everything that I ended up using down below. I do have a discount code for the washi tape shop. So you can find that in the description box. It will save you 10% on your purchase. So check that out for sure. And I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you guys so much for encouraging me to be quirky in my planner. I appreciate it and I appreciate each of you. I hope that you all have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative. <laughs>